Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Foolcraft 3. I am the Mighty Blur and at the end of the last episode we finished off by making a bonsai tree. I said I'd be making a house and here it is. I know it's not much but it'll keep the nasties out at night. So let's go take a look. Just some basic chests. Went and got these from the village. Found some rice and planted those. So yeah, it's not bad. We'll be making something better later on when we've got some more resources, but this'll do for now. As you can see, I've been mining. Found some ores. Also found some diamonds. Which will be very useful for what I have planned for this episode. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Right, so the first thing I would like to make is the gluttony charm. As you can see, it's very simple to do. What this does is it helps, it makes you consume your food faster. So when we're fighting all those monsters. You don't have to take too long eating your food. Alright, so seems I don't have any wheat, but that should not be a problem. Just get some seeds. Get rid of this. Plant that. One more. Let's just fat on it a bit. There we go. Get that, plant that back down and get those seeds. So what else do we need? Golden apple and a piece of string. Some string here and just been cooking up cooking up the last bit of gold. And here we go. I believe we have some apples. Yep. Loads. And perfect. So this is a bauble charm, so it just goes in our bauble slot, like so. And now, watch this. Look at how quick that was. And it's filled up his entire bar. So now we can just get loads of strawberry juice from our food farm. Craft it all up into juice. Like so. Oops. And we've got juice for days. As you can see at the bottom it says nutrients and it says fruit. 1%. What this means is, see this little carrot in our inventory? This is just nutrition. As you can see, because we've been eating lots of fruit, that one's up fur furthest. But it would do as well if we got all of these up to above 90%. We're not, when one of these is up about to about 90%, we get extra hearts. I believe, off the top of my head, one of these corresponds to two extra hearts. So all of these would correspond to 10 extra hearts, which would do us very well when fighting bosses. So that will be one of the aims of a future episode, to get different kinds of food and get our nutrition levels up. So the next, what I want to make is a nice little creep cube. These guys are pretty awesome, and I will show you what they do. Alright, so what do we need? Uh, six gold. Okay, that's melted up first. Two diamonds and a chest. Two diamonds. And a chest. So we'll let that smell up for now. Take too long. 
So if uh, any of you have seen Rick and Morty, this is a mod based off that. Based off the meat creeps. What it does is it lets you summon a meat creep, which will do a simple task for you. If you give it torches, it'll light up an area. But what we want them for is clearing out some space. So I'm going to use meat creeps to clear out space for us. So I no longer, no longer have to do it. Let's go test this out and not do it near our base because I'm not really sure how to work at the minute. So what we can do is obviously we've got some areas. Follow me, pick up items, light up the area, dig down, it will make us a path to bedrock, flatten an area, build a platform or build a house. What we want it to do is flatten an area. You can get it to do 13 by 13. But let's not do it here because there is water and that will just spill everywhere. So how about we do it here? I think if you shift click it does the exact same thing as the last one, and I believe there is a limit. Yeah, you can only spawn four. As you can see, it'll do the grass as well. And it's just a nice, simple, quick tool to find out an area for us. So I will, when making our new base, be using this. It's very, very cool. So the rest of the episode, I want to get into some power. Let's put our little creep cube away. Get rid of those dirt seats. So, what I plan on using is this, the wireless RF battery. Very simple. Redstone, redstone crystal, some stone burn. Get this we need some stone burn which is polished stone in a resonator polished stone is just stone stone bricks in a four by a uh, two by two obviously stone bricks is just stone so what we'll do is we'll get a stack of this and cook it up to make stone burn we need a resonator as you can see Resonate is pretty simple. So let's get to that. I'm gonna need five iron. Oops. One resonating redstone crystal. Two redstone and a block of coal. These resonating redstone crystals you get from get a random chance drop in from mining redstone. just like that. There we go. So this is a block from extra utilities. Let's just sleep. Yeah, this is a block from extra utilities and it uses a different kind of power. So it's not redstone. What it is, is it uses grid power. To make grid power we need some, well we can use quite a few different things but the simplest thing is a solar panel. Like that. Lapis, polished stone, a resonating crystal. Do we have any lapis? Yes, we have some lapis. Let's make three sets of these. So we need some polished stone, which we should get from this. There we go. Just need a few more. Oh no, maybe not. There we go. I'll do is put these out in the sunlight like so and they will generate power. Each one does 
one grid power. So in total we've got nine grid power. With this and this, what we're going to make first is a water mill. We couldn't make this straight away as it re also requires stone burnt, as you can see. This is just very easy. Some redstone, redstone gears and stone burnt. So while some more stone is cooking up, let's make the redstone gears. How many do we need? So we need eight redstone torches. Like so. Oops. Need to throw them on the floor. Like that. That's those. We need our resonating crystal. Polished stone. So to make the stone burn, you put your polished stone in the resonator. As you can see, it uses our grid power convert the polished stone into stone burn. Obviously later on we can upgrade this to speed upgrades. Like these. Those that's the next tier and that's the final tier. This requires us to kill some wither skeletons, do a bit of Enchanted with a never star. So for now, we'll just leave it like that. Just need to wait for one more. There we go, and we can make us water then. Like so. Right, what we need for this is two buckets of water. So this water mill can generate up to 16 GP, which is a lot more than the solar panel. Did not mean to place that there. So what we need to do is grab some water. That was pretty here for now. I'll move everything later. Make it look better. So how this works is these sides with the fans on they generate the most power when there is a flowing water block between them. So the best way to maximize the GP is to put one bucket there, which gives that and that side a large amount of flowing water. Obviously you can see this is less than this side, so at the minute it's only generating fourteen. But if you get another bucket of water and place it like so opposite you can see that this one and this one also has water at the same height as those so now it's generating 16 so this resonator can go much faster now because it has more power Only takes eight GP though. So, what we need next? Ah, so I have used all of our resonating redstone crystals, but we can craft these using Ender Shard. Obviously, we don't have one of these yet, unless this is grown. Where did I put it? even a little bit. So I'm going to go mine some more redstone to find some more of these shards and I will be back in a second. A decent amount of mining later and I finally got enough for what I wanted to do. As you can see, I found a lot of redstone. So let's get making what I want to make. Stone burn. Team Redstone. Make that. What 
else we need is these wireless RF transmitters, these connections to the RF battery and uh, wirelessly give machines power. Obviously we don't have any machines yet, but we will eventually. Well that's those two mate. So what? Oops, don't mean to do that. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to make some coal generators. Um, Sixty RF tick. Not right sure what coal generator from Actual Editions does, but I am going to go with the Actual Editions one because we've got some black quartz, and I believe I already bought one of these. What do we need? Iron and sticks. Alright, I have four iron, so let's cook some of this up. Get some sticks. Let's make a couple more. What else do I need for this? Cobblestone. And some coal. There we go. What I'm going to do is make, in fact, two for now will do. Let's put the rest of this back. Let's put this here. Put that one there, that one there. Bring that coal in there, and that coal in there. So that will. Charge up the battery as it's done so already, which will then connect to these transmitters and transmit power wirelessly. So, next, what I want to make is a pulverizer from thermal expansion so we can start doubling our ores. So I will smell up the necessary things for this, and I'll bring you back as soon as I've got all the necessary ingredients. Not too long later, and I have everything we need for a pulverizer. So let's get that crafted, shall we? Easy enough, just a piston, some machine frames, a machine frame, some copper gears, redstone receptor coil, and some flint. So what we'll do is we'll just place this here for now. Figure all the sides, so we can automatically eject stuff into a redstone furnace when we get one of them. But right now we can double our ores. So you just put that on the wall, right click it, and there we go. It's got power. So now what we'll do, we'll get some iron. Put that in here. As you can see, slowly but surely, it'll double as ore. at that do I and for now we'll just put it in this furnace. In fact what I'm gonna do is break that don't know if this is gonna work but we can have a shot. No, it's not gonna work. But, uh, makes it a bit quicker to put it in. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to make a redstone furnace. So we need some copper, another reception coil, some bricks, another machine frame, some glass, and tin gear, and a piece of redstone. So I'm going to get all this, all these resources together, and I'll bring you right back quick time warp into the future and we have everything we need to make ourselves a redstone furnace. Two copper gears, redstone reception coil, machine frame, and the bricks. There we go. So what we can do now is we can remove this, put that there, update that, remove inputs, so what I did there was shift click and it removes all the inputs, put that to there, 
that orange, so both of those go into here. Set that to blue and put that to orange. So what I'll do now is get some wood. Make a couple of chests. Um, we'll just quickly smell up some iron. What I'm going to make Iron chest. You'll see why in a second. As you can see, this is a lot faster than our normal furnace, and it runs off power. This will be enough for now, but soon we'll get into some other power generation. And that's enough for one. Circle the chest and the iron chest. Here, for now we can just put a normal chest. And then what we will do get most of our ores like this. I don't know about this one. We can take that as well. What about this? Pulverize this. Okay. And this one in here like this. Enable auto input and as you can see pulling from the chest into the pulverizer and what it'll do is it'll automatically eject into the redstone furnace. And that should automatically eject into the chest. So now we have automated or doubling. Back to there for now. Clear our inventory a bit. And there we go. Just leave that to do that, and eventually all our rolls will be done. So, what I want to do next is a bit of exploring. We are looking for is some of these trees with cobwebs on them. So I will run in a random direction and bring you back as soon as I find one. About 200 blocks later, as you can see, this is where we are. This is where its base is. We found one. So this is one of the Thorncraft biomes, Magical Forest, which is probably the best place to find these. See, there's a spawner here that's spawning cave spiders. So we'll just quickly take that out, kill the little guy before he interrupts us, and there's a chest underneath. Perfect. End of pearls. Anyway, getting dark, so let's go back to base. So this is what I was wanting, but we haven't got enough ender pearls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look around, try and find some endermen, try and get some ender pearls so we can craft one, and I will be right back. Welcome back, guys. So about five minutes later, I only managed to find one enderman, but I did find this in the village. So what we can do. Pick this up, might as well take the glowstone. Let's not get killed by all the nasties. Ooh, I wish I'll take these two. Hide in this house for a second. Teleport to home base. Oh, wait. have to do it is we have to run back to home base. Ooh, chance key. Let's do this, shall we? Ooh, a random item. 
onto what we're gonna get. Let's deal. Two random enchantments. Unbreaking one. Unfortunate one. Let's not die. We'll need that later as we venture into the nether. Now we don't have to make one ourselves. Oh my god, what the hell is that? That is pretty damn scary. And it looks like he's going to be very dizzy. So the strawberry juice that we've got is very useful. So when you drink it, it gives you a speed boost. Combine that with the glow in the charm. You drink it instantly, keep running. Forever. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try his home again. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place this here. So, name it home base. What it does is, you press this little waystone menu here. Oh, one second. I need to activate it first. Place this little waystone menu here. Click on that, instantly teleports you. As many times as you want. So there's no cooldown, like we can see with the um, home teleport. We don't have to typo. Quick, waste out, home base. So we can use these to teleport to other areas, like our mine shaft, for example. So we will have to down the stairs every time. So yeah. Very nifty little thing we've got there. So I'm just gonna sleep so we don't get killed by any mobs. What we're gonna do now is I'm going into the mine to find some obsidian so we can make ourselves an ever ball. And I will bring you right back as soon as I've done that. Some very quick mining later, and we have enough obsidian for a ball. Let's go place it, shall we? Where should we put it for now? How about we just put it here? Not too close to the base, because the noise of the never portal is pretty annoying. And using our random item that we got from the chance cube. We will light it. Let's go. So what we're looking for in here is we're looking for a never fortress. Hopefully to find some blaze. We need the blaze rods from the blaze to make some blaze powder for a few quality of life items. While we're in here, we might as well get some never quartz. So we'll be needing a lot of that later. Oops. Let's not get burnt to death. And at some point, we'll find its way out. Here we are. Ooh. I believe we will survive. Get this. And there is a ghast with a really big hat shooting at us. What the hell is that? Let's see if we can do this. Whoa! Nope. Ooh, interdimensional shards. We'll need that later for when we go into. RF tools dimensions. Close. I will do this. If it kills me. Oh, they like the uh... There we go. Now we can teleport. Transform into a gas. And we got a gas here. See right there is part of Never Fortress. So let's see if we can make our oh don't stand on that. Burn ship. Get this 
3. Make our way up to the top of the Never Fortress. Create some stairs to get us up. Probably the easiest way to get up there. Should probably work on getting some jetpacks so we can get around the Never and other areas a lot better. Which I think will be our next goal after we've created some ender chests, vouchers. Just made the advancement for getting into the Never Fortress. Well, let's have a look around, shall we? Let's not get killed by them. Who's that? I think I can hear some blazes. Yes, perfect. Welp, I just died. We're definitely going to need some better armor to tackle these guys. So let's get our diamonds out. But first, we should make Diamond sword. Chest. Legs. And boots. Put those away. So I will run back into the Never to find a corpse. And I'll bring you right back. So I managed to retrieve our body. Let's just kill a few more, shall we? Ooh. Let's kill him as well. Damn it. You drop no evil. What about you? Nope. Oh. So we've got what we need, let's get out of here. Back to home base. So, got a nice amount of never quartz, raw stone, and enough blaze rods. Oh, it uses blaze rods, not blaze powder. Damn. Well, I will. I will go kill some more blazers off camera, as we have hit the end of the episode. I know it's a shame, but that's it for today. Next episode, we will work on getting a jetpack. We will finish off making the end of chest and end of pouch, and I'll show you why I wanted to do those. We will make a cobblestone generator. Cause as you can see, cobblestone is used in the building. So that will bring us one step forward to making a bigger base. And then we'll expand this power. We've got a lot more things to do. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. And I will see you next time.